Hello, friends. Thank you for all your prayers. I'm feeling much better, and I'm very excited to be to return to our video liturgies this weekend. Our readings today are quite striking. Jesus says something a little odd, and the Pharisees, I think, rightly call him out on it. He says, whoever keeps my word will never see death. They say, and the, and the Pharisees say, now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died as did the prophets, yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham or the prophets, all who died? Who are you that you are able to say this? Now, Jesus isn't saying that all of a sudden we'll magically not die. The fact is, people still die, uh, even today. Jesus died. But what he's saying is that it doesn't end there, and that should give us a lot of hope. In these tr hard times where many people are dying across the world, where many people are suffering, where many people are still sick, that's not the end, Jesus says. We don't end in death, but whoever believes in the word of God will have that taste of the resurrection, who will rise up once again with Jesus. As we approach Easter, I think this message is more and more important because we're still in Lent, even though we're drawing near to a close. And we still have to suffer with Jesus just a little bit. We have to walk that passion. And we'll especially walk that passion when we get to Holy Week next week. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. But we have to go, that, we have to go through that if we are to see that resurrected Jesus on Easter Sunday. We also have to trust that that resurrected Jesus will be there on Easter Sunday. Through all of this darkness, through all of this pain, through all of this suffering, the light is there waiting for us. All we have to do is trust and ask, and it will be given. Amen.